Hello, I'm Atuba George and this is a new week. I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now listen, the Lord has said this is a season of restoration. Now that means he is restoring things, not just things, but he said actually he is restoring the years. Do you know what that means? Now, it means you should expect a lot of change around you. You should expect things you know, to be transformed in your personal life. You should expect new opportunities. Then also in our nation, in your family, everything around you is being renewed. Praise God. And I pray that the Spirit of God will cause this season to be made manifest in your home and in, in your own personal life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that the Lord will visit you indeed and bring full restoration whatever time that have been lost in your life whatever years or months or to every detail the spirit of god is bringing about restoration to you praise god now you know we just finished our meeting you know last on the on the second and on the third of of november and there's something the lord was ministering to my heart during that meeting and i think i should go into little details and share with you and what's that and, and that's what the spirit of god is saying we should watch out even in this season because you see god has done everything he needs to do but many times we don't fulfill or we don't get the best of god in our lives not because of god but because of our understanding now when we lack understanding then the result we're going to get is going to be um, limited because it's going to be based on the understanding that we have. No matter how great the power of God is, you see, we cannot get results beyond the understanding we have of Him. You see, now that's why the Lord began to talk to me. He said, look, you should watch out or take charge of the teaching ministry. Now, what do I mean by teaching ministry? Now, see, we know that there are several callings and several things the Lord have um, told us to do. You know, you have the prophetic, you have the teaching, you have the evangelistic. Now, you find this in various believers. But you see, amongst them, the teaching ministry is very important. Now, what do I mean very important? It is because it is by the teaching ministry your life is built. Now, if the foundation of your life, if you build your life on the wrong foundation, and, and why will you build your life on the wrong foundation? Because of the understanding that you have. And how did you get that understanding? Through teaching. See? Through teaching. Now, if it is wrong, then you're going to have a problem. And remember, Peter said something in, in first, Second Peter chapter 2, and verse 1. He said, there were false prophets among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. Now, take note of that word. First, there were false preachers. There were false prophets, excuse me, amongst the people. And now he's saying, look, watch out for false teachers. He didn't say watch out for false prophets. He said, watch out for false teachers. You know, I went to the Lord you know, about this. I'm like, why, why would Peter you know, actually say we should watch out for false teachers? And then the Lord began to explain this to me. And like, wow. You know, let me read it. It says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. False teachers among you. So, False prophets being among the people is in the past. Now he says, you, there shall be false teachers amongst you. Now what makes someone a false teacher? And you need to get this. What makes someone a false teacher? He's not a false teacher because sometimes, you know, you see, like lack of understanding. What makes someone a false teacher? It's simple. God did not send him to teach. See? Now, if God did not send you to teach, you're a false teacher. 
Meaning everything you are teaching, you're not teaching by the authority of God. So you're an impostor. No matter how genuine your heart is, no matter how you feel, you know. Now why am I saying this? Because when God sends you to teach a thing, there's an anointing that is released upon you. And that's what makes the difference. To be a teacher called by God, a teacher is not the one who, who can... Um, who knows the Bible, he knows every scripture, everything he says, he quotes a scripture. That doesn't necessarily mean he's a teacher. You see, a normal academician can do that. Everything God has called you to do, there must, it must be done under the anointing of God's Spirit. And you should know that you're functioning under the anointing of God's Spirit. See, so the fact that someone is telling you, Revelation said this, Genesis said this, this one said this, doesn't mean he's a teacher sent by God. He may be eloquent, doesn't mean he's a teacher. See, so how do you know a good teacher? You must be able to see that this person is functioning under the anointing. See, because it is the anointing that makes you to know. The same way a prophet functions under the anointing. You know, how? The prophet begins to prophesy things he doesn't naturally know. He, he begins to prophesy. So when a teacher teaches, a teacher comes under that anointing and he begins to explain things. Even most times to him, they are new. But he knows he is speaking by the Spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, the teaching anointing is to bring forth God's truth bare. And make it relatable. Make it, make it in, in such a way that you, you can relate with it. And it must come by the Spirit of God. It doesn't come by your senses. Now, where we have a lot of false teaching going on is because a lot of people have put in their senses to explain the Word of God. And, and, and that's so wrong. Because and that's why a lot of people go astray. This is very important. Now, the fact that you knew something yesterday doesn't mean you run off to go teach it today. Especially when that thing comes from an outside knowledge. You see, sometimes you go for a meeting or you, you're watching a TV program and someone explains something, you're excited about it and then you want to run. Maybe you're a pastor listening to me now. You want to run and share that thing. Now, you may be going wrong. If you don't go back to the Spirit of God to help you explain and understand that truth. You know, because of time, I have to stop here, but I'm going to continue on this tomorrow. There's a reason why I'm sharing this with you, and this is very, very important. Praise God. Until tomorrow, this is Atuba Judge. Bye-bye.